The Washington Wizards dropped their 15th consecutive game, their eighth straight here at the Verizon Center in that stretch. The Wizards have yet to score 100 points. They've scored 90 points just four times. Big problems here in D.C. for the Wizards. Let's welcome in CSN Washington's Brian Jackson, my good buddy who covers the team. And Brian, we keep thinking there's going to be one of these nights where the Wizards get this thing figured out. It hasn't happened yet. They will win again, though, right, at some point? I mean, at this point, it doesn't really look like it. I mean, it's, it's got to happen, though. There's too much parity. Eventually. But, I mean, right now they just, I mean, they're down bodies. Uh, Al Thornton didn't play tonight. Randy, Randy Ford didn't play tonight. I mean, they're already down to every team talent-wise that they're running into. And then when you're losing two more of your main guys, I mean, your chances are just not really that high. You talk about the lack of talent. It's also a lack of threats. Andre Blatch right now is the only player on the Wizards, as they're currently constructed, who's scored 30 points in a game this season. He's the only guy that can really go get you a double-double consistently. He's done that 11 times. You're right, you go into games pretty much as a Wizards fan at this point, and you wonder if Blotch doesn't take over, who else on this team can? Well, that's that's where your losing streak is right there. I mean, it's just Blatch, and then teams now are focusing on Blatch because, you know, he's pretty much running off 20 points a game on, on a regular clip now. And then I guess you could say the next main threat would be Mike Miller, but, you know, it's hard pressure just to even get him to shoot the ball these days. So, I mean, with, you know, teams focusing on Blotch, Mike not really shooting as much and not being as aggressive offensively as he should be. And then you have guys like Al Thorne and Randy Foyer. I mean, that's just a recipe for disaster. You can find Brian Jackson's stuff at CSNWashington.com, one of our good buddies out here at the Verizon Center. One of my main problems with this team, and one of our guys we both love in this locker room is Randy Foy. Now, he didn't play tonight in this 15th straight loss, 8th straight at home. Offensively, there are still problems, but he's proven almost at this point as a point guard. He's had some good games, some bad games, but that he's not going to break people down. He can't really penetrate. Is there anybody on this team right now that can just create for themselves? At this point, no. I mean, that's that's where the offensive breakdowns start right there. Like, I mean, you have Sean Livingston, who's nice. He's six seven, but at the same time, he's not really beating any guys off the dribble, which will then lead to open three-pointers for the likes of Mike Miller, get other guys open jump shots. Because right now, it's really a team full of role players. And that's the main thing that the Wizards miss with Gilbert Arenas, of course. Like, he had the ability to pretty much get into the lane at will, and there's, thus far, you know, defenses would have to collapse on him, and he, he'd be able to kick it out and, you know, hit some of his teammates for open jump shots. But they don't have that threat right now. One of the few positives, I guess, at a time like this is you get to see some of the young kids. You get to see the players you traded for, like James Singleton, go out and get a 20-rebound game. Alonzo G gets his first start, has 19 points. The Alabama product looks sharp, but you don't know if those guys are long-term solutions. As we move forward now, as we bury our lead a little bit, the biggest story here at the Verizon Center tonight, Ernie Grunsfeld spoke. He said that the Wizards will not try to avoid Gilbert Arenas' contract. Yeah. It looks like Agent Zero after all this. You blow up the whole roster. Yeah. Jamison gone, yep. Butler gone, Brandon. I mean, you go down the list, Haywood and Stevenson and everyone that we knew other than Gilbert gone, Arenas might be the last man standing from that bunch. Yeah. With number six. <laughs> yeah. Sorry Mike Miller, oh by the way, he's coming for your number, he just hasn't told you yet apparently, but good, good move, bad move. Looks like he's coming back. At this point I really don't think the Wizards have a choice. I mean, if you're not going to go after his contract, I mean he's obviously still the best player on your team and you've seen what your team looks like without him so I mean at this point not to say of course you know Ernie Grunfeld is you know saying yes we welcome back to his organization but at this point I mean they really don't have a choice I mean I don't think that fans are going to come out on a regular basis to see the product that's currently on the floor right now so I mean it'll be interesting to see how he's welcomed back by the DC natives in this area Again, CSNWashington.com is where you can find my man Brian Jackson's insight. I'm going to go beat him in one-on-one -on -one. for Sam Clems. 1067thefandc.com saying so long. Grant Paulson with you as the Wizards drop their 15th straight, their 8th straight right here at home in D.C.